Hi, I'm Rhonda Buss and I'm going to walk you through the process of making the Clara dress by So Liberated. Now I'm going to take you through the bodice and the collar. There's very little to worry about on the bodice, except that we do need to sew in the one dart. And as I've showed you before, one of my little tricks for sewing darts is I like to clip right on the edge and then this, as you see, some darts in some patterns have dots along the way that can be marked. This one just has the one dot at the, at the point of the dart. So you want to put a mark right where that, the apex of the dart will be. And that's where you're going to sew. And then we'll take the dart, we'll pick it up and sew Put the two notches together and then find the dot. I see it there. Pin it and then sew it in place. Our dart is sewn. It was very easy, not a lot of worry, just sew from one point to the next. The next step is the collar. And the collar is very easy. This pattern does not call for interfacing in the collar, and there really is no need for it because it just lays flat against the neckline. But you want to pin it in place. And one thing that I like to do is you can see here, there's a little notch that I cut right at center back. So I am going to match up my center back seam of my collar here. Pin it together. Pin the collar around. to the front. And of course we do it on the other side as well. And then the next step is the finishing for the collar. We add, this is a little bias strip and there is a pattern for that in the, that's included with the pattern. And if I can do more than one step at a time, I like to. So the bias strip would be pinned in all the way around. Once that do is done, then we sew it. And then you can hand tack it down or stitch it. I decided I wanted to hand tack mine down because I didn't really want the stitching line on the opposite side of my garment. Mm -hmm. 